chat right here and Google, right? So I'm going to find a property. Uh, let's see here. Homes for sale in downtown Dallas. So I want to go and just click the first one. It's sponsored, right? I'm not a lead, so I'm going to probably mess them up. All righty. So this one is on Olive Street, right? So I'm going to go ahead and use this property. It's 1.9 million, basically 2 million, which is okay. It's funny, another 5,000 would be 2 million, but, you know, marketing, I guess. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, we're going we're gonna to use that address, right? So I'm going to put in chat GBT, please find websites that contains information for this property. Google is going to do the same, sort of, right? So there you go. So right now, Google is giving the same information as I'm predicting that ChatGPT is going to give. There you go, right? So in this instance, the person who's uh, who I was talking to said it does the same. I'll, I'll give them that right now, right? Um, and, you know, of course, this is slower, but there's a reason why it's doing it this way and not showing uh, the information here. Because, for example, Google is a referrer. Like, you ask it, and it finds information, and it displays information for you. It's kind of like a map uh, tool. You're asking for a location. It finds it on the map and shows you that location on the map. But it's using someone else's map. It's not its map. This is basically creating it like it's... Is the, it, this is not found on a website anywhere. It created this link list, right? So um, it might take a little bit longer, but this was created inside ChatGPT. This is not referring to anything, right? But they are linking me, okay? Which is cool. So now I'm going to ask it another question. Please create a property description for this address using the websites you found. So now I'm asking ChatGPT to create something from thin air. I'm saying use the websites that you found regarding this property and create a property description based on the websites that you found, right? So I'm going to go ahead and do uh, let it work. It's taking some time, which is okay, because it's creating something. It's writing something. It's generating. It's manifesting, whatever you want to call it. But it's not taking information from anywhere else and copying and pasting. It's literally taking information and creating its own uh, results, right? There it is. Third floor museum tower. Pretty specific, 12 foot penthouse. Okay, let's keep talking about some amenities. Kind of cool. It's telling me how much is listed. It's telling me what the HOA dues are. Two covered parking spaces. Cool. Talking about, I guess, the amenities. It's telling me who is listed by. So let's go ahead and click one of these to see if it's similar, if it's correct, all right? So let's see here, 12 foot there, there it is, 12 foot, right? So that's accurate, right? Uh, let's see here. Let's see what else can I find that's similar? Uh, personal car service, dog grooming. I don't know if it talked about that here. Uh, but they talk about one part right there. Right, Warren Park. Uh, let's see here, Susan Baldwin. There's Susan Baldwin right there. Of course, the pricing is correct. Let me see if they got the HOA information. Excuse me. Um, HOA fees two six five seven. 
two, six, five, seven. So there you go. This is a legitimate, very specific property description written by ChatGPT about this address, right? So I'm going to ask Google to do the same thing, right? Because we're, we're comparing, right? Please create a property description for this address using the website you found. I copy paste the exact question to Google. And actually, if you notice, I do have AI here. And no, that's not the right one. Okay. I do have AI turned on here, right? But Google by itself didn't do anything. Right? So now I'm going to ask ChatGPT to do something different. Please. Please. Take that property description and make it 500 words or less. Actually, 500 characters or less. Boom. Again. I'm going to ask you the same question. So I'm, I'm going to help Google a little bit. I'm going to give Google the address because it's kind of confused right now. It's not doing anything. It's just referring. Now look, it's giving me a, a chance to use Google AI, which basically proves my point. There's a difference between AI and a difference between actual just regular Google. And this is okay, it created, it created another one, but as you can see, I'm using AI to do this, right? 